our guest today that I don't want to delay anymore. She's an amazing young woman and someone who is always a treat to have on the show. Danny Bowman is joining us. She is the, I, I, I'm going to ask her if she's the, I know she started and created Danimation Entertainment, but I want to know what her official title is there. But this young woman in her very few years on the planet has already accomplished so much. We're so thrilled to welcome back to the program, Danny Bowman. Danny, are you there? You Hi, are Martina. there. Thank you so much. And I'm so grateful to be part of your show as always. We love it when you're here, Danny, because you're such a ray of sunshine. You're even wearing a bright yellow shirt. It's perfect. So, Danny, um, for people who haven't watched the show before, I was saying at the start of the show that I, I that you self-identify as a, a self-advocate. And then I was like, actually, I don't know if that's true. How do you identify yourself? So I am Danny Bowman. I have a BFA in animation. I have an MBA, a BFA, and I am going after a PhD in positive developmental psychology. And I am the founder and chief creative officer of Danimation Entertainment, an animation company that I started when I was 14 years old. I am now 26 and I have autism. Wonderful. And I, man, that's pretty incredible. That's, that's a showstopper right there. And I love that the first thing, the first way that you identify yourself is, as having a master's degree. What is your master's in? It's a master's in global strategy and leadership. Wow, Danny, that is so impressive. I'm I, like, I, I, I don't feel worthy to be here with you. It's an um, and I, <laughs> And I was saying before that I met you, I think I met you when you were 14, maybe 15. And by that point, you had already done so many things. You already had your own film studio. And I think you had already um, illustrated two children's book, books well, at that point. Well, it's now um, six and, and then what, I'll be publishing a seventh one this year. Wow. Um, and we should also say that you are someone who teaches animation um, and, and you have continued to teach even in COVID, which I think is absolutely amazing. Tell everybody, uh, a little bit about, I don't, I don't even know where to start, Danny. There's so many things to talk about. Okay. Do you want to talk about teaching first? All right. Maybe a little origin about Danny Mation and about the reasons why I'm getting those three degrees then. Okay. All right, let's do that. When I first started my company, my original goal was to open an animation studio, period. A year later, when I was invited to teach animation to youth on the autism spectrum like me at Joey Travolta's Inclusion Films summer camps. Over the next few years, I continued to do more camps while getting my Bachelor's of Fine Arts in Animation at Woodbury University. Then I decided that I needed some additional education to better operate my company, so then I proceeded to do my MBA. Over the past 10 years, Many students have told me what a difference attending my camps and programs made in their lives. Now I am focusing on my PhD in positive developmental psychology. My PhD thesis will be centered on the positive impact that my work with youth in the autism community provided for life-changing shifts in their perception of autism and eliminating the roadblocks that they may have perceived due to a disability. I just realized that just because I have autism did not automatically qualify me to work with the autism youth, even though I've been doing it for the past 10 years. I've never really been questioned if I'm qualified, but if I get a PhD, then, then I for sure will never be questioned. So you see, all three of my degrees apply to my company. I strategically plan to get all three of my degrees because they will all help me develop my animation company and brand. First of all, my BFA in animation because it's an animation studio and animation's my passion. My MBA because I needed to learn how to run a business and of course my PhD in positive developmental psychology focusing on autism. Danny, I mean, it's just all so amazing. So, you know, I, I remember, as I was saying, when you were a teenager and you had your own film studio and, and we were all like, this, this young woman is amazing. She's going to conquer the world. And now we're just a little ways away. At some point in the future, I know I'm going to blink and I'm going to be calling you Dr. Bowman, which is going to be incredible. 
Um, we're just all excited to know you. And so right now, if somebody is watching this and they're like, oh my gosh, I want my child who likes to animate to take a class with Danny, what would they need to do? So in, we, at Danimation, we are providing one-on-one -on -one sessions. And we also provide the, the free workshop every Friday at um, 4 p.m. if you register. But um, this week, we are in the middle of, um, of the, there are so many new things going on in my life, but the main thing right now is that we are in the middle of participating in the Easter Seals Disability Film Challenge for the second year in a row. And Dini Mation's team is participating in this film challenge. It's pretty amazing. So we uh, we had had some folks to, on talking a little bit about this uh, before, but there's this very short window of time in which Easter Seal says, okay, everybody go make a film. How much time do you actually get, Danny? We were given five days to complete the project. And the film that we're working on is called The Home Office, a live action and animated mockumentary film about what it's like to be on the autism spectrum and work in an animation team and work in an animation with an animation team from home with a team of 12, nine on the spectrum and three neurotypicals. Wow. Yeah. And through so the five days, go ahead. Sorry. Yes. Five days through, through the pandemic, we all had to learn how to work from home. Not ideal to many, but some people on the spectrum find it easier than working in person. We also have many more opportunities now than before the pandemic. Even though, of course, everyone wants the pandemic to be over, working from home is now an acceptable option, a silver lining to this whole mess. Learning to work in person in an office, of course, is a good skill for everyone to learn, especially those of us on the spectrum. However, working remotely is so much easier for us we don't have to worry about being judged due to our awkwardness by working in a live studio. And we get a chance to learn our craft before we have to focus on acting neurotypical in, in an in-person environment. For me, masking, for some of you who know what masking is, it's exhausting. For those of you who don't know, it's it means trying to fit in. <sighs> yeah, I, and Danny, I'm wondering, are there things that that we that that are you know are considered the neurotypical? I don't I don't know that anybody's typical, but in that that other the the what's deemed the neurotypical world, are there things that we do that make you feel like you have to mask? Because I just want to say to you, Danny, I think you're amazing, and 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 I hope that you never feel like you have to behave a certain way with me or on the show. We want you, Thank but are there things that we do that make you feel like you have to mask? The things that I would have to mask if I am just going to business meetings or having to like fit into a particular environment where they're not so sure about um, autism. But if I say, if I have autism in the beginning, that they will know that I have autism. But, but I will say that autism is actually an ability to me. Although it's a quirk, but I find this is a positive ability. I think uh, masking is not quite necessary, but doing uh, weird quirks like talking to yourself or something right. like, or any other of those, it's people will find it strange. Yeah, I wish we could get them to work on why they find it strange rather than asking people to mask. I think, you know, because I, I think that you're incredible and anybody who says others would, I, you know, I'll, I'll gladly do the fist fight in the, in the, in the lobby. Uh, <laughs> cause, cause look at you, Danny, look at, I mean, you're incredible and, and you're an incredible talent. Um, let's, let's make sure before I get ahead of myself, uh, what is your website where they can go to register, to take the free workshop on Fridays or to sign up for one-on-one -on -one classes with you? What's the website? You can find it at www.dannymationentertainment.com. And there is, and you, if you go to the website, there is a menu that says digital learning. This is where you can go to the, um, the free class where you can register for the free classes, or you can, um, sign up for our, for a one-on-one -on -one sessions, or you can, um, or you can actually book a time where you can go for Let's Talk or for free consultation at Dean. There you go. 
And it's on the screen right now, you guys, but those of you who are listening in podcasts, so it's Danny, just like Danny's name, D-A-N-I-Mation. So animation with a D in front of it, entertainment.com. And check out all the wonderful things that Danny has there. Now, Danny, you were talking about this Easter Sills film that you're making, which has to do with the topic of employment. And I understand that you just finished making or you're finishing making a, a, a film with um, Joey Travolta about employment. Well, Joey Travolta about employment. Um, last year, I was filmed and featured in a documentary called Let's Work California. So it, this has nothing to do with the Easter Seals Disability Film Challenge, but I was. But Let's Work does talk about autism and employment. And speaking of, I also have a leadership certificate right in the back. If I just don't pull it out, sure. This is it. That's the certificate. Oh man, that's beautiful, Danny. Congratulations. Thank you. That is really incredible. I love that. Um, and so are we at a point yet where we can see that film that you're in with Joey Travolta? Is that out yet? It is on YouTube. You could be able to watch it on YouTube on their Let's Work California YouTube page, I think. Okay. All right. Wonderful. And you guys, you have also been very involved. We've had um, Alani and uh, Jason Weisbrod on the show talking about the short film Boys Don't Wear Dresses. You guys have been winning so many awards and you participated in that because you did the animation or, or did you oversee it or you did it yourself? How did that work, Danny? So how that work is because I have led an animation team for doing some animation seg for the animation segments for this um, amazing um, short film. So we had several of our students that did character designs. We've did, they did some assistant animation and I did all the cleanup and all the, um, the main parts. So I'm the lead. So I do not only an animation director, but also an animation lead where I put all the animation assets all together in this amazing short. And, and I was so happy that um, last week when I was um, teaching a class and had to let everybody know that I have to participate for the Easter Seals Disability Film Challenge, Jason Westbrod was in the middle of a film festival that was called, I, I think it's the film festival was called Just, I think it's called Just Film or something which won two awards, including Best of the Fest, which is really, really amazing. It, it is, that film is just, that, that film is doing great things. I wanna let you know, Randy is saying, Danny, uh, and uh, Avani says, good morning. Judy wants you to know that Danny, you're such an inspiration and Huma is saying hi to you. So um, feel free to write into Danny right now with any comments that you have, we're checking those. If you're on Facebook, if you're on YouTube, or if you're on Twitter, feel free to write those in right now. So, Danny, I, you know, um, I, I just want you to know you're such an inspiration. Oh, Huma wants you to know that she's writing in from Pakistan. Wow. So we've got international in, in the house here, which is wonderful. It was such an inspiration personally to me, Danny, when you um, got to the age where you were off to college, because I was like, look at that. You were somebody that I knew and, and you were so excited and you were going off to college. And I was like, look at that. It was very inspirational to me as a mom. Last year, um, we, you were on the show and we were talking with you and you were talking about Woodbury. And my son applied to Woodbury um, because he was inspired by you. And uh, he got accepted to Woodbury, um, wow. which is, I don't, I don't know if he's going to go there because he's, he's gotten several acceptances. And so he's still waiting to hear from some colleges. But I want you to know that you inspired that. Um, and we want to thank you for that and for putting that message out to people. At, and then I love how you just described for us, you know, why you decided to go for the master's and why you decided to go for the PhD. But I'm wondering if you could tell us, is it challenging for you to be in, you know, in those classes? And I mean, when you're talking about positive psychology, boy, I, I you know, I'm in awe, Danny, that you're going back for that. I would be frightened. Is it challenging for you or is this just easy for you? Well, the acceptance part is easy for me. Yes, I've been accepted to Claremont Graduate University, but I am still considering other options. I'm still waiting to hear from USC, Pepperdine and UCLA. 
those are my several other options. And there's one um, most particular a message that I heard from, have you heard of the, have you heard of the phrase, when one door closes, the other door opens? Yes. That's why it's very, um, that's why I remain open to options. Okay, but is it, did you find it difficult to be at college? Did you, it can you know. Be difficult, but if I have um, assistance around like the, um, like, like the Center for Disabilities, if they have that service, they would, they would help me. And they've been helping me like go through, go through uh, my college years, undergrad and graduate years. Wonderful. Now, Danny, you also are an amazing speaker and have um, spoken at many different uh, locations and for many different groups. There was, I remember a couple of years ago watching you as you were getting ready to speak at a conference in Alaska. Uh, and I was like, look at that glamorous right life that girl is living. Um, now COVID is, I imagine, shut some of that down, but if people wanted to book you to speak at their event, either virtually on, on Zoom or when COVID is, is that much better for you to travel, where would they go to talk about having you come to speak to their group? So they will, okay, if, can you repeat the question again? Where should people, if people want to book you to come and be a speaker, where should, should they go to the Danimation site? Yes, they should go to the Danimation site. They can even email me at, um, you can email us at dini at danimationentertainment.com or you can email it to the, C, the CEO, Patrick, Patrick Ida Miller, who runs um, Dini Mation, he's the co-founder and he's also the CFO. You can email him at patrick at dinimationentertainment.com and he will okay. like, um, get the information on the um, on public speaking. Okay, wonderful. Judy says, uh, my, my autistic 10-year-old granddaughter loves art. Home today watching. Uh, she's, uh, she has autism um and doing uh all that they can to give her self-esteem and they say thank you danny that um you should feel proud of yourself and thank you brenna for putting in danimation.com uh, i love it when our guests help us out and, and put it into the the and brenna says go danny brenna uh, we... from florida and she's also see... part of the easter seals disability film challenge team there you go there you go. Well, welcome, Brenna. Um, we, I think we're all in agreement, Danny, that you are remarkable. Um, so I also want to say thank you to you because in COVID, you have been one of the sanest influences of anyone. There were early into to COVID when people were like, really arguing about the mask wearing, you put out a video about why people should wear masks, why people should be staying home. Um, and I think it was very influential. I think it was something that was not only of benefit to folks in, in the, 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 the autism community, but I think it was beneficial to a lot of people. And I know people are curious about how you are doing now in terms of, it's been a year, how are you doing with um, this change and how are you feeling about COVID about now? For COVID, I still think it's um, pretty stressful, um, but I pivoted, I indeed pivoted from, from in-person to online workshops and the, uh, and the workshops, um, if you go to the Dini Mate, if you go to my YouTube page, I've um, did some videos and I did some videos of the, um, the end of our virtual workshops including three weeks of animation gets real, which was um, a huge success on Zoom. And we also did another week, which is the Dini Academy virtual summer animation workshop, another huge success via on Zoom, which is amazing. And we're still going, and we are going to do this, do it again this year, animation gets real and Dini and Dini Academy virtual summer animation workshop. I love that. This is an opportunity, you guys, for those of you who are watching, if you or, or your kiddo um, is someone who's interested in animation, Danny has been doing this for so many years. And it was a couple of, a couple of years ago that um, you went to England 
um, to teach animation. And I, I don't, was that like a two week camp, Danny, when you it went was, to England? It began as a one week camp. It okay. didn't really start as, we were originally gonna have a two week in-person camp in, um, in 2020, but because of this pandemic, this got canceled. But we had at least a couple of um, students from Eng England to participate at the Dini Academy Virtual Summer Animation Workshop. We have- Well, that's good. That but, means we had people from different parts of the world attend our work workshops and our yeah. one, one sessions too. Well, and, and I just want to point out that, um, you know, Danny has been so successful in helping individuals who are on the spectrum uncover. I just think that Danny has a rare patience, but she also, um, I don't know, you're just so talented, Danny. You have a, you have a clear vision and you're able to convey that to all different types of folks on the spectrum. Um, and it's really remarkable, you guys. So I really encourage you, if you're not sure, if you're nervous, Danny's got the, the Friday um, free class. It, what harm is there? Register, have your child or yourself take the free class with Danny and see how it goes. But it's so, such a worthwhile thing to do. Uh, we've seen people really blossom. And uh, Brenna says, Danny is the definition of a leader. She sends you a heart. She says, I'm so proud to be her colleague and her friend. And then she also put a link to a video for people to watch. Um, yes. And um, they're asking for the YouTube channel link. Oh, and then that is what Brenna gave. Uh, there we go. And they're saying that they'll check it out. So Danny, so we know that in the summer, right now you're making the Easter uh, Seals film. This summer, you're going to be doing those camps and, and you know, the opportunity for people to do one-on-one. -on -one. Do we think that it's in the fall that you're going to start working towards your PhD? Is that when that's scheduled to be? That's what it's scheduled to be. If I, if, if I plan to, if I choose, it really depends on the situation. If I get to accept it to a different um, college, if I get accepted to a different college, it could happen. Yeah, but you've got options. Is there anything else that I, because you have so many things going on. Is there any, and by the way, please, are the books are on Danimation also, aren't they? The children's books? Uh, the children's books, we would have to like, um, up, we would have to update the books some section in our Danimation okay. website. So, but they could go to Amazon. If they put your name in Amazon, can they buy the books that you have illustrated? Did, yes. Okay, so go to uh, go to Amazon and put in Danny Bowman and you'll see the different, she's got some great children's books, you guys. So um, is there anything else, Danny, that you have going on that we haven't asked you about? Okay, so um, maybe maybe I, if you wanna get to know the, our Easter Seals Disability Film Challenge team, let's, let's hear that, okay? Okay, so, let's talk about that. All right, so Rich, for those of you who have seen my 2020 film, Our Animated Minds, we have like um, about more than six, we have like about more than six team members. And now we have like over 12 team members. What's really cool is that there are 12 people on my team. Nine of them are on the autism spectrum and three of them are neurotypical with me leading a team. Some of them are my previous and current Danimation students and three of them are Danimation instructors. What's really interesting is that all of my teammates are from different parts of the world. In Florida, we have, for animation and voice acting, we have um, Arturo Grito and Mark Matawad, who are my students from Animation Gets Real. We have Brenna Werner, which she is watching live. She, she's the one who wrote the screenplay. And we have another student from Florida, Dialene Owen from Animation Gets Real, who's doing the backgrounds. We have uh, my friend who's who was a Joy Travolta student from Florida and also a friend of mine, Keaton Becknell. He's doing the original score and he's doing voice. And we have uh, Phoebe Clark from England. She was one of my students from our Plymouth University camp. She's doing the animation and voice. And we have a uh, Morgan Knapp who's, who attended my one-on-one -on -one sessions in the Danny Academy Virtual Summer Animation Workshop. She's doing animation and voice. And, for, and from California, we have Kira Maiz from San Diego, California, who's doing the animation. Chris Castillo, my friend, my fellow alumni from Woodbury University, he's doing, and a fellow animation instructor who's doing animation voice, and he's the assistant story editor. And we have Paul B. Gomez Jr. from Inclusion Films. 
He's going to be doing special effects and he's the assistant animator. And we have Sandy Viola, who's doing live action story and cinematography. And yours truly, Danny, who's the producer, director, lead animator, editor, and audio mixer and compositor of this for the Easter Seals Disability Film Challenge film we're working on. And I also Danny, forgot And you also what? I for also need to mention, I can't wait to, to mention that what else am I doing in this life? <clears throat> I am now Toon Boom's 2021 ambassador. And so what, explain to people what Toon Boom is. Toon Boom is an animation software company based on, based on Montreal, Canada, which does, um, which they provide the animation software such as Harmony and Storyboard Pro to major animation studios. You know, like um, several Disney animations, like they they did 7D, they did animations, like some of you have watched the 7D or the DuckTales, like the 7D or the DuckTales or Gravity Falls or Star Wars Force of Evil, they're done in Toon Boom. Or, um, or shows or your favorite shows like The Simpsons or SpongeBob SquarePants, those those are done in Toon Boom Harmony. And we use okay. Toon Boom Harmony for the sum challenge. Okay. And when you teach students, are you using Toon Boom to yes. when they're is that what they're animating on? Yes, they that's the software that we use. It's really and it's really cool. And for Toon Boom, they're going to give me a page on their website showcasing my work. And I'm very honored to be to represent them. As yeah. you know, I've been using Toon Boom software to animate since I was 14. Yeah, I, that's amazing. It's they should make you the ambassador because who would be better to be their ambassador? Um, and so Brenna, thank you so much. On Facebook, you guys, she is putting all the links in for everything. Brenna, you're amazing. Uh, she's got your children's books on Amazon um, to find them and also where to go for uh, Toon Boom to give that a try. So that's amazing, Brenna. Thank you so much for doing that. Now, Huma had a question. She wanted to know if the programs that you're doing during the summer, are those live or will they be, is it possible to do them recorded? Um, recorded? So, it yeah. can, so we could do it record. I think we do our our videos are being recorded. So um, we don't typically do, we never thought about doing an, a live streamed uh, virtual summer workshop, literally. But okay. uh, everything has been recorded. Every videos that we did has, has been recorded. Okay, because she's in Pakistan, so the time change, um, can her child take the class at whatever time they want to? So you might be doing the class at 10 a.m., but she wants to do it at 10 p.m. Would that work? Um, 10 p.m.? Okay, so if I was... I think that will work. It will really depend on the schedule because I have, it would be not, I would be happy to be teaching students from different parts of the world, but um, I would have to find accommodations. Okay. We'll figure things right. out. We are 100% flexible. Okay. Wonderful. So check that out. Write to Danny and you guys can ask those questions. Danny, I just tell you, I, I mean, I, I said at the beginning, she's so inspirational, you guys, right? You're, you have a light about you, Danny. Wherever you go, I'm always excited to see you. You and I love this yellow T-shirt that you have on. But you know, one of the things I miss about being at events is getting to see folks like you. And you have a sense of fashion. You are, uh, you know, I I always love to see what you're wearing, Danny, because this you, is the T-shirt that we wear for our Danny when we did an in-person um, Danny Academy animation workshop back in 2009. We were teaching animation at Technics Academy down the street in Montrose. Very cool. So we need to wrap this up, but I just have to say you're so inspirational, Danny. When, so you're, which, so you got five days to do this Easter Seals. Which day are you on now? Is today day one, day two? We are right, we're currently right now in um, day three. Day three, okay. And then, and then you'll submit the film. And then when do you usually hear back from Easter Seals? Um, when I hear back from D Easter Seals, sorry. It's like, when do you know who won? Let me, let me double check. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's, it is six. Actually, it is about six days. 
So okay. we have five days to produce and Sunday to submit. Okay, great. And then let us know, because uh, it sounds like a really great film and we look forward to hearing it about it and we look forward to seeing it. Look forward and, and yes, we will soon, we will be, able, it will be uploaded from, it will be uploaded to the Easter Seals Disability Film Challenge um, YouTube page and also okay. on Facebook and on their Instagram. So once okay. we submit our film, it will be going through, it will be going through what's called the campaign phase where we start promoting our film. Wonderful. Danny, you are remarkable. Will you please give, do me a favor and give my love to your family because they're amazing too. I know you got to get back to work to your team that they're waiting to get back to you, but thank you for sharing all of these things with us. We look forward to seeing what you do next, Danny. And, and I look forward to calling you Dr. Bowman. Thank you so much. And thank you again for having me on, having me be on your show. Danny, you need to have your own show. Like I'm sure people have told this to you before, but you're remarkable and you need to have your own show. Uh, so someday, I know you're busy, you have other things to do, but someday I look forward to that. All right. Uh, much love to you and to your family and stay safe. And we'll look forward to seeing you again sometime in the future. Look, looking forward to seeing you too, Shannon and everybody. All right. Bye-bye, Danny. Thank you. Bye. Thanks for watching Autism Live. If you found anything helpful in this video, please give us a like. In fact, make sure that you smash that subscribe button on YouTube and give us a like on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram for important updates. And please download our free podcast wherever you get your podcasts. See you next time. Until then, give your kiddos a hug from me and one for you too. Bye-bye for now. here. And if you'd like to check out some more of our videos, click here.